trees on our camp. Yeah, so yeah. I got a live chase. I got. I got. I guess I'll be. I'll see you guys in like tw tw twenty minutes. Be back. All right. Goodbye. When it comes to these motorcycles, uh, these these guys can really have a, a pretty big advantage on LAPD uh, if they're really willing to push the limit. And uh, this person definitely seems to be doing just that. Yeah, Des, I'm going to bring in uh, Jeff Vaughn. He's joining us now here at the anchor desk. Jeff, Yo, you know, Des what is he doing? How kind of limited their options are. Bike strat Andy. With it being a motorcycle. I mean, Desmond watched as this guy kind of just popped right out of his garage and took off, even though there was a swarm of police cars around right. him. Yeah, you know what's so interesting is over the years we've seen a number of sport bikes and they're able to really be very agile and get away. This guy is obviously a very skilled rider, but this is one of those uh, bagger bikes. It's a much heavier uh, type of a motorcycle. Looks like a Harley Davidson to me. Uh, those things are obviously very agile as well, but not to the point like a. a sport I'll switch bike scenes if he, so he falls out. I'm not going to let him hit the ground. This but. Uh, rider would be able to outrun the police. Uh, he is obviously very skilled as we're taking a live look here at this continuing coverage of this LAPD pursuit of a rider of a motorcyclist uh, here in Los Angeles. Desmond Shaw is overhead in SkyCal. Des, this guy is actually putting on a display of some good riding skills, I'd say, wouldn't you? He's a mad lens. Yeah, I, I, you know, you, you kind of have to admit it, and it really just seems like this this guy's kind of taunting officers wow. at, at this point. Now, you know, I mean, they even got what is he doing? Or something maybe giving him half a, a peace sign mm. right there. So, you know, this person, I mean, the, the 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 police were right up on this guy, even at gunpoint. He decided to take back off. Uh, really, just does not seem to have a care in the world. As we know from you know what LAPD was telling us, we know that this person definitely in a, a troubled mental state. Uh, here as we swing the camera back around. Well, this how do they know that? issue with motorcycles is that, whoa. How whoa, do they know that he's uh, in a mental state of... Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, the, the, the camera does not like when, when, the, when the motorcycle goes directly underneath us here, but uh, this person just, you know, zipping all over the place here. But, you know, either taunting officers or just completely ignoring them. And again, you know, what started all this was reports that this person was, you know, allegedly waving a gun out around on oh. their second floor balcony which was right next to Chaminade okay, High School and in fact that prompted the high school to cancel their baseball game tonight so they were taking maximum precaution over all this there was a really big LAPD response it sounded like they had a line of communication open to this person like they were trying to get them to put the gun away and at least come out and talk to police and instead this has turned from kind of you know a semi barricade standoff whatever you want to call it into a, a full-blown high-speed pursuit no he's uh, zooming the west san fernando valley yeah as we continue to follow this live here on kcal news i want to bring in from the assignment desk mike rogers so mike do we know of any victims in this situation at this point in time we know that uh, obviously he's in a troubled mental state he was waving a gun from a home near chaminade high school okay that they don't know that they don't down. know that that. Anybody injured at this point? No, I kind of hate that shit that they waffle like that. What is on these people? The report, the initial report, the reason they came here was for shots. They don't know that he's the mentally was, in a, in a, in a state. How do they know that? You know, uh, when we were looking at the front of the home, there's a balcony right above the garage, and that's where he. How do you know that? The close proximity to Chaminade, and they had an, a baseball game, which is obviously played outdoors. That's why they uh, suspended that. But they're just stacking uh, you know, buzzwords because it makes sense. They, they've searched the residence and they've not located the weapon. So now they have great concern that he is still armed, that he still has that weapon. So they've alerted their officers that, hey, we are considering this person to be armed and dangerous at this point. And do we think that that was his home where this all started? And if so, is there family members that are talking to police that you know of? We, we, we do believe it's his home. We don't know if there were family members there at the time or anybody they can communicate with. Um, hopefully there is. You know, people don't like this. Somebody that can it depends, you know, shed though. light on his mental the way, health. The way they, you know, the way they uh, describe. Struggles that they've described. Now, one of the things, Jeff, that we've seen multiple times is they'll, they'll try to contact the, the suspect, right? They'll try to get on the phone with him. I don't Hard know do. how feasible that is on a motorcycle. So yeah. their line of communication may not be as easy as it has been before. Bro. And to be honest, it doesn't look like he Very really sane, wants to communicate Very normal people I mean, we make dumb, do dumbass the shit. Cops that Let's make right them to him and had him at mentally point, unstable. And he took off. And it looked what like is this shit fucking them, but he took state of society? Do you guys think that any, any, anything video, else? What does all do? In just one shot, five patrol cars, you know, blocking his cul-de-sac where he lived. And again, because of the agility of a motorcycle, he was able to go right up on the sidewalk and go right around him. Really good information from the assignment desk and Mike Rogers. Let's go back up to Desmond Shaw up in SkyCal. So, Des, we understand that uh, this person is in a troubled mental state, was waving a gun. We heard about gunshots. Have you seen any evidence, Des, that he still has the gun on him and that he's pointed it at anybody? No. 
No, I have, have not seen evidence of that. And, you know, LAPD was saying that they believe that this person suffers from uh, depression oh, as well. So this is obviously... Oh, wah, la, 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 la. Uh, keep uh, you know, keep the, fucking you know, waffling, you know, bro. Even he's telling them that. Well, ...that have no idea what's going on. They're just sitting here, and here's LAPD out with weapons drawn. It must be, you know, an incredibly frightening situation. There you see LAPD's helicopter there that just went through our shot. So uh, a, a very volatile situation, uh, especially now that, you know, as, as Mike's telling us that they were not able to recover a weapon at that residence. And you can see, you know, the, the, the storage compartments on the back of this bike uh, right now. So this is just all really trending badly. We're still kind of in rush hour traffic. I mean, considering it's a Thursday as well, you know, we're, we're definitely gonna have some height traffic out here as we're on Valley, Bull of, uh, Sur uh, Valley Circle. So we're headed down towards the 101 freeway, and we'll see what this person's plan is, if they plan on getting on on the freeway or what. But uh, no interest in communication uh, right now, possibly armed and dangerous, and in a, a very troubled state. This is a, a very difficult one for LAPD. Let's say the scenario. If they were to continue Valley Circle down to the 101. Where somebody doesn't uh, know what the fuck's going on. Huh? The area, if he chose to go. And they're scared, uh, and they right flee. Turn, be kind it doesn't of make him mentally ill. Ventura County. Course, yeah, it's a crime. It didn't do it. Hills, doesn't make, that doesn't uh, make him Valley, ill. Thousand Oaks. If you took a left-hand turn, if you will, on the 101 going south and uh, a little bit east, that'd be into it's, it's L.A. It's not showing the streets. And uh, we're taking a look. This is Valley Circle and Canzone, Canzonet Street here as we take a live look. LAPD pursuit. What makes you ill is illness. Rider on a motorcycle uh, wanted for waving a gun. Uh, earlier today, we understand that shots may have been fired in this situation. That is the rider in the middle of the screen of your uh, set. There. Being so sad doesn't make you depressed. Skycal. Uh, let's bring back in. Uh, Mike Stop being like an Mike armchair, uh, fucking bullshit. He like, is obeying uh, most of the uh, traffic uh, laws. He's stopping at a red light. But uh, obviously is not complying. Oh man, you are so fucking dumb, man. Uh, right. I'm, I'm over. I'm done. Just fucking. Let's just watch this bullshit. Made some kind of, you know, gesture with his hand, like it, almost like a, you know, kind of keep talking. One yeah. of those types of gestures, and you know, yeah. I mean, like we've talked about, it's a situation where LAPD doesn't have a ton of options here. There's because no you're anxious. That can do. There's. You know, that's the test tomorrow. That Doesn't make you do. somebody they, they that's do, a clinical fucking anxiety lights, need medication. Um, in. Maybe because you're sad, because you lost your job. Doesn't make you depressed so automatically. Radio traffic. Yeah. Doesn't make you something stupid. It doesn't make you uh, ill. LAS, the sheriff's department's jurisdiction, Jeff, as you were mentioning, getting close to uh, Calabasas. So they're notifying the sheriff's department, but asking the sheriff's department to stay out of it. They want to keep tactical uh, control of this, and I do hear them coordinating. Uh, you know, allowing some additional units to be involved in this pursuit. One, because he's armed, right, which is always a concern, but two, because now we're getting, you know, out of LAPD's jurisdiction and they, they want to make sure they have enough units to handle this situation. But, you know, as Desmond gets a nice tight shot there, you can see he is, you know, he's talking to them, he's yelling at them. So hopefully these, you know, the good part about him um, coming to a stop at the intersections like he's supposed to do, hopefully that's giving these uh, officers a chance to, maybe try and reason with him a little bit because obviously they're not going to be able to do that over the phone uh you know because he's uh wow. driving this motorcycle and des is that a red light uh, i believe that was a red light yeah it, it, the traffic from uh, calabasas road there was you know trying to go and then he just calabasas so now we are on to Mohan drive valley circle was that a red light in calabasas south of the 101 freeway getting into calabasas and uh, this will either turn over to Mulholland highway uh, being or ill over towards Topanga Canyon, so we'll see which direction the suspect decides to go uh, at this point. But just very troubling behavior. We've seen, you know, how these motorcycles sometimes will really, really push it. And when you consider that this person is is not, if you in think a good you can make him mind, an established another, mental state uh, of danger or to this whole thing, we've seen some motorcycle illness reports from a helicopter. Way, you, you are know? fucking so is, moron. Uh, You're the and that's wrong with every but with 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 social media. To, just as if you think you can make up, you know, in a, in, a, in a good state right now, a mental so analysis, a, a Jeff, you would have planes going about the cities I, and saving everybody's lives from information. But there is brrr, their sleep, here's um, that they're going to try to do depression, anxiety, bipolar, blah, blah, to doing they just, you know, the right thing. They would just the heal everybody, bro. Um, you know, they are they are starting to talk about their options because they, too, are aware that they can't do a spike strip or, yeah. you know, pit maneuvers here. So they, they do have something that they are planning. Um, to hopefully bring this to an end. Looks like he took Old Topanga Canyon Road. Uh, this is uh, just uh, over the 101 through Calabasas. Now taking Old, Old Topanga Canyon Road at Rincrest uh, and Bluebird right there as he makes a kind of a wide. The police said what happened. 
Uh, Not the conclusion of it. The motorcycle pursuit of a suspect, the it's rider so wanted for waving a weapon. Uh, Mike, we should also mention that Shamanad High School was nearby. So 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 just typed Saj. I think he's depressed. Can we fucking reach out, motherfucker? Canceled and postponed because of this, but this all occurred He's after depressed, I know it, because I saw in chat. Yeah, yeah, so the, the start time of this, and let me go back through my notes here and see if we know exactly what time it started. Uh, five o'clock, yeah, okay. so school would have been well School's over out. by then. So, Sash. you know, the, the student body as a whole uh, was never in danger, but obviously, the you know, the kids that were uh, playing baseball and, of course, the fans and, you know, spectators and all that as well. Taking a big left-hand turn there, so we take a profile look of this uh, motorcyclist Bro. here. Uh, wanted by LAPD for waving a gun at a home near Chaminade High School. Uh, we're not aware of any victims. Uh, no weapon has been seen since police have been in pursuit with him on his so motorcycle. Right uh, we have the Desmond Shop and SkyCal, uh, of course, uh, as we continue to take this live here on KCAL News. I'm Jeff Vaughn, along with Mike Rogers, as I mentioned, up in SkyCal, Desmond Shaw. I didn't Let's get the latest from SkyCal. Des, uh, he's now on Mulholland Highway. And anxiety. That's right, Mulholland Highway here Hi, as we make our way you, towards the east. QCL, so meow, this meow, should meow, make meow, it meow. over to Topanga Canyon here shortly and if see arrested, if uh, what that's what the suspect is be? thinking, if they're maybe going to take Topanga um, Canyon uh, towards the coast or uh, if they turn north, exposure. then it'll be towards Woodland Hills and back towards the 101 freeway. Does this person have a plan? Uh, again, you know, what started all this was just uh, a lot of kind of, you know, mental volatility <laughs> uh, walking around on their, their second story with with uh, with a gun and with some shots being fired you see a bunch of uh, units they're going through the shot uh right now so we'll see what lapd is thinking is is mike well i sleepwalk there what happens if one day i, I have, just fucking uh, they were i'm making and i just fucking maybe try to open the door and i walk outside sheriff's bro. deputies in the have calabasas the area lost hill music. sheriffs but now XQC we're back in L. la jurisdiction as we are on uh, topanga Can't canyon believe a gun would do this i believe uh you're actually okay still on mulholland drive but going to be coming up to Topanga here very quickly. Chat, I'm actually interested in, interested in, interested in this chase because we've rarely uh, seen plan is going to be a motorcycle chase to where the guy the isn't like going nuts. Of, uh, drive. I want to see how it stops. Drive anyway. Yeah, obviously going through a number of jurisdictions here, Mike, as we take a look at the uh, LAPD will always, of course, this uh, could last forever. The, the agency that will follow this because they initiated this as they go through different uh, jurisdictions, if you will. Uh, Des made mention of uh, the sheriff's fuel department there in Calabasas. These things can hold a lot of fuel and uh, go for a long time. time there. Of course, they all partner and work with each other. And if they are do? needed to, they will jump in and help out with this. But it appears at this point in time, just a number of LAPD cruisers uh, in this pursuit. Right, yeah, and you know, each you department for a good amount, has their own kind of, oh. you know, pursuit policies or pursuit, you know, guidelines, if you will, like CHP. Uh, it, it's either all theirs or it's all not theirs. They don't really want to be in a situation where it's, you know, a couple of their people. And Yo, what's up this fucking smog, people. man? Uh, the sheriffs, I don't think, play baby. that game quite as XQC strictly. So, Omega you know, if LAPD XQC needed their help, certainly XQC. I'm sure the sheriff would step in and, oh my God, and, and do that. Um, but the LAPD has asked their, their dispatchers, their B, uh, Bureau Communications Center, uh, to notify LASD and CHP, but ask them not to get involved. You know, LAPD, the other thing we have to remember about this is LAPD's been out with this guy, you know, for the better part of two hours. So oh my whatever God. progress they've made with communicating with him, they want to be able to retain that progress. A new progress. agency in would have to start that process all over. So whatever, you know, dialogue they had with this guy, Whoa. whatever they know about him already, uh, that's okay. a huge advantage that, for the LAPD. That's the illusion. It would be almost counterproductive to have another agency have to start that yeah, process over again from yeah, scratch. But, you know, as we get on the freeway. Well, this could be northbound, I believe. Because no, you just got, this is going to go oh, right yeah, sure. by yeah, yeah, the yeah, hills entrance. Uh, 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 and uh, heading northbound. Like, what's about about going east, right? I think we're actually, actually going I'm talking through the, the window. Like, southbound okay. here. Yeah. Yeah, I got a little turned around there. We were on Mulholland Highway. We were actually headed east. So he came back, doubled back to where Dude, they were. Just, and now like, we are on the east. Pulled side and asked me. So she goes outside of the house. She's talking through the window. Point. And, uh, you know, just because we're on the freeway doesn't mean that LAPD needs to turn this over immediately to CHP or anything like that, especially after what Mike was just talking about. They're, you know, likely to stick with this. Uh, we'll see if CHP has any involvement uh, in this one. But uh, fairly light traffic conditions. This is the time of the day when uh, the 101 starts. Yeah, kind of clear up a little bit. Might encounter a couple of slow pockets around. If it's like uh, a Tampa, scooter Reseda, or motorcycle, like most of them, I kind of know how much. I kind of know about how much it can last. One like this is like for like travel and chill like that. Or, like or these are like pretty. Uh, I out to see here. How long do they last on a full tank? 
has backed off a little bit. They still have their helicopter overhead. I'm and, busting. Uh, might be just be getting right off the freeway now. Uh, one exit over here at Topanga Canyon. Yep. And Jeff, really quick, I, I just want to uh -huh. give you an uh -huh. update. I'm listening to uh, you know the the, the the broadcast that's been three put hours out plus, the CHP plus one, plus one. Uh, and that broadcast is indicating he actually has two types of firearms on him. Oh, is that right? Um, so LAPD mm, believes wow. that he is not armed with just one gun, but now two. Um, so that's the situation as well. And, you know, LAPD had asked the other agencies to, to, you know, kind of stay away from this. And CHP is advising their units to do just that. So, you know, they're able to call this out as it goes. And CHP is asking their units just to stay away from He's it all. He's got dualies, you know, like We don't want to do anything like that. LAPD wants to handle it. Let LAPD handle it. That's uh, an obvious danger to the public if you have somebody in this state who has two weapons on them eluding police. Obviously, they want to get this stopped. But this is the reason why we are live here on KCAL News. This is a threat to the public. This is a man that has already fired a gun, uh, waving a gun earlier as well, uh, has been uh, interacting with police in this uh, uh, game of cat and mouse for about two hours plus now as we're taking a live look here from SkyCal of this uh, rider on this motorcycle. Yeah, he's a Kim uh, in a mental hours, state that's troubled. He's got models. Officials have told us. Now we're getting word from the assignment desk off. here, Mike Rogers, he probably that that rider has them. two they weapons on him. He hasn't uh, really probably, yeah. uh, been aggressive other than just showing Also, uh, I'm pretty sure using a taser, the gadget is not he's gone through a number fantastic, of stop signs and red lights and been pretty fast weaving in and out of traffic. We haven't seen those weapons. Uh, onto the right side is going to be some of the video from earlier today. Holy! On sidewalks and a little aggressive driving there. But at the times when he does stop at a stop sign, ah, oh, destroyed, light, absolutely up outplayed. Behind it. him, they come out with their guns drawn, but the rider has interacted through hand gestures, and you can tell they're kind of talking back <laughs> and forth. I want to add that Jasmine Beal has joined me now here on the set here on KCAL News as we continue with all this breaking news of an LAPD motorcycle pursuit. SkyCal is overhead. Let's get back to Des as we take a live look on the left-hand part of your screen with that uh, video from earlier oh, on oh. the right-hand part. Oh, oh, hell no. Yeah, so we are on Dunmetz Avenue with San Feliciano just to the west of Topanga Jesus. Uh, Two. Just kind of going around some random streets uh, at this point. You know, we were... Oh, the, the smog, man. When they got on the freeway, if they had uh, some kind of destination... Oh, my line, God. They just got the Topanga Canyon. And now in this residential area of Woodland Hills, just to the south, the 101 freeway. I do apologize Chat, just for the shot. Let me just get kicked out. Sorry, right now, and it's a little bit sorry, hazy sorry, sorry, uh, sorry. So that is why... It's not giving us anything. It's, 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 it's it full does. smoke screen. Now, once the suspect gets out of uh, the sun, should have a little bit better shot for you right no, now. No, he is but, getting, he, he is know, getting a lot of RP, I think. Going over speed bumps. Reason to believe that there are two weapons. Uh, yeah, over some speed bumps right here. You know, reason to believe that this person has two weapons possibly in those uh, storage compartments. That's certainly how LAPD the is. The sun, yeah, but when the sun hits fucking smog particles or whatever, that's what it does, that no? Any sort of real attempt to bring this is that how that works? kind of an end. Uh, again, motorcycles, totally See? different beast uh, as opposed to dealing with a car. Like Mike was saying, we're not going to see spike strips or, or a pit maneuver or something like that that could cause this person to get into a catastrophic crash that is, is not on the table. So LAPD really has to take this one uh, pretty gingerly, but uh, they are back there. Uh, but, you know, this person can just accelerate so quickly. Uh, so what about a, a strat bit, we'll see that LAPD's puts cruiser come into the shot here. some and sort of material on the ground neighborhood, that uh, coats the wheel? The, the, it's... Um, and Via Boso Street it's here, south of the 101 freeway. Wheels yeah. and like Go makes ahead. it bad. Is it, I mean, Des, you brought up a good so point. When he breaks, it fucks the brakes up or something uh, like that. Show you or some like, video of him initially yes. leaving his garage there from his West Hills home, where he had like been glue. on the balcony waving a gun around, and that's why they hit. Like it jams the brakes. Possibly armed suspect, but Des, you brought up a good point. This is a whole different beast with the motorcycle. The way we've seen him navigate through some very tight spaces as officers oh. try to follow him, but a much more difficult in those challenges challenges that come with someone on a bike, on a motorcycle versus in a car uh, where the places that he can go. So again, you see him on the right. That's video from earlier uh, <laughs> driving through the parking lot. Officers have been, had been there yeah, already that, trying that to talk day. him down. XQC yeah, and that, you know, that, that brings up that strange dynamic that we're Don't. dealing with here. And I'd like to bring in Mike Rogers from the assignment desk. Uh, this is a, a situation where you're, you're dealing with a motorcyclist how do you diffuse the situation? It's not like a car. It doesn't have four wheels. Mm -hmm. You can't use the stop stri yeah. sticks. Um, you know, there's, there's 
ways that they can. Well, um, how do they diffuse with a car? They, they, just, they don't they either. They don't really see it so much with a motorcycle. Of course, they're, they want to make sure everybody's safe, including the rider. So that's kind of a predicament that police are having right now. Well, it is. And, you know, the other the other thing, too, is, and, you know, I don't ever want to you know minimize a crime. What? But this is not just a stolen vehicle, right? If this was a stolen motorcycle, they'd probably Do just wait it out. Right. They'd the probably wait for him to run out of gas or they'd literally. probably, you know, you know, you know they could go into what they call That's not what they meant. This is just not this thing that what they're saying. With two different types of weapons or two different types of guns, this is not something they want to just let play out. This is something they want to try to get under control. Now, you know, I kind of was mentioning earlier, uh, you know, Jeff, you pointed out that he was pretty much stopping at all the stoplights and obeying traffic laws. And that was giving them the chance to have some communication with yeah. him. So, you know, that's obviously uh, an idea that they're trying to do. But now, you know, in the most recent ones, he's not really come to those big intersections where he's stopping at the lights. So I, that line of communication probably isn't there anymore. I mean, he's now, doing his stops. You know, down the road, if they wanted to take Where it there, broken. your other options are to bring in armored vehicles. We've seen them do that before. Uh, and box Is them in, GTA but again, because it's a motorcycle, you have to be very huh? precise on if you're going to do that box in thing. Bro is just no waffling. Yeah. Right, which we've already seen him do a couple of times. He, yeah. you know, came up to a cul-de-sac. They and have no the idea that he has guns. The garage the doors were him. closed. So, um, you know, it's much harder. It's, you know, a needle, Hello, you know, X. threading yeah. a needle Say to try to get him boxed in. And I think, well, I was just going to say, and also, um, there's really not an option for less than lethal at this point mm -hmm. because he has a firearm. He has mm. uh, fired that weapon. We understand police say that he has two weapons with him. So it's not like they're going to be able to, I guess they probably could hit him with some less than lethal bro. rounds. But then why they have multiple officers. Know, control the motorcycle. The motorcycle goes, you know, they'll hold them at gunpoint and then one will have non-lethal. Like, I mean, there's just, what the fuck? A, as you mentioned, Mike, a real narrow uh, place here for them to use any sort of uh, abatement here, any sort mm -hmm. of way to stop this guy. Yeah, I mean, their, their options are just really limited, and it's, you know, obviously they don't want to let him keep going, and I, I think one of the things, and, uh, you know... Well, I'm not even talking shit about the commentary. Don't really, it's a very good commentary, but Chris isn't, isn't on duty tonight, so I don't know. ...suspect be able to successfully evade the, the scene. barricade situation yeah. that they're in. I mean, yeah. you know, we were to the point I'm here... I'm much rather than the Chris than these guys. Right. The pull up. I mean, we were well within you know, the initial processes of this where, in theory, they would have had a, a secure enough scene that he wouldn't have been able to get out. But as oh, you see the video on the, the right side of your screen, that's when he left the garage. Uh, and, and drives and, right past And him. right, exactly. And again, because of the... the Man, he's got a nice fucking house. Right. You if know, they would have known it, they probably would have tried to right. get him at that point. Right, I mean, you have five cop cars there. There's the another four, I think, right here at this T intersection that he comes to, plus the command post, plus the fire department was there staging as well. Um, no, so, you know, hmm. and, and that looks like an incident commander. You can see the schematics on the root on the hood there. I'm not even sure they knew that that was the person they had barricaded yeah, well, inside. Well, I think Desmond had heard from the helicopter that I as soon as won. he came out of the garage, uh -huh. they're like, all right, he's leaving. Okay. Um, it certainly took us by surprise. Again, we've never... I don't you think I've ever seen a, a barricade before. suspect be able a to successfully get out of the area that they're, you know, barricaded stop Mr. Let's go back up to SkyCal and Desmond Shaw. Man, this fellow talk is fucking... shoot and Miranda. Oh, the, he, is, he is on the D. Yes, uh, so now north of the 101 freeway, they were kind of circling around the same away from the hills as he now Thank uh, fucking God, man. Street, uh, just past Ooh. Burbank oh, Boulevard. Boy. So he's now Ooh. no longer in the hills. He's now crossed underneath the 101 freeway through a red light there with plenty of cross traffic as he blew through that red light and now continuing northbound on Shoop Avenue where this there's going to be uh, much more opportunity uh, for him to uh, either look for go. a hiding spot, but also we're talking about more of a grid now. So where you're in the hills, it's much more squirrely and much more windy. These are much more straight and uh, uh much more manageable surface street you can see stop you chat if you guys don't know that the, you guys don't watch my stream and you're watching this you're listening to stop, chris right now but he is ignoring their command so they're chris is the on duty so helicopter commentator for this shit you hear through a green light so sometimes he waits for the green light other other times he just blows right through them in this case he uh stopped came to a stop and then continued once the light turned green continuing northbound on shoop avenue uh, where there are going to be, I think, more units ahead of him, especially as, his ma as he makes his way uh, further up Shoop. Now turning onto Oxnard Avenue, uh, what appears to be a random right turn, now going eastbound on Oxnard from Shoop. So frustrating for law enforcement. This sort of cat and mouse is, and, I, and again, we keep talking about the oh, tactics this lady. because when he stops at an, at an intersection at a red light, 
and you see all the police get out of their cars. They, they obviously, you saw them with less than lethal uh, weapons when they came out. She always you waffles really is so hard, they, dude. You know, you always think, can you can you possibly fire at the tire? But I think that everything oh is slightly... Oh, my hard. God. It puts the driver, the, the, you know, the suspect in <sighs> such a, a dangerous situation. Yeah, very limited in terms of the force that you can employ Every here. time I mean, he stops uh, and waits I mean, for the yeah, cops to get out of their the car. That would be he wins a head start. He's driving Jenny's. away from them. <laughs> yeah, uh, you have crossfire uh, considerations. I'm <laughs> truly right. Out. And uh, at this, at, 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 uh, look at that. They had a less than lethal uh, weapon aimed at him, but he just made that turn there. What so was both that? Right, uh, if he does uh, come to a stop here or poses any kind of a threat, but I just think they're going to continue to watch him exhaust as much fuel as possible. By my estimation, these appear to be all random Chat, turns. Chat, what he about a gun? And somewhat, uh, it's a massive uh, a gun, like a launcher. Not the same and it launches an immense roads, net. But he's going a crazy around, net. Uh, and it uh, catches uh, him. He's going around these uh, large neighborhoods here he's no baby. longer in the Can't hills where he was doing something of a loop he came back under the 101 freeway so it, which it throws he two have a real clear destination in mind he's just kind like of bullets? on a joyride on um, two sides it means a triangle to get on the and flee that crime scene Shabang. well that was good in the moment that worked for him but now getting away from these units in this pursuit is going to be much more challenging for him uh, unless he gets, uh, unless he, the only thing that I could think of is if well, he he's smiling and shit. driving more dangerously and more erratic, then they'll have to pull back on the ground. It'll become too dangerous. They'll have to rely on that air unit. And if the air unit loses sight of him, then he has an opportunity. Oh, they know his house away. and everything, but, but that doesn't appear to be happening here. He's traveling at a. If this guy was an armed, this would have stopped already. Units, and uh, certainly enough helicopters overhead that it appears unlikely that he's going to get away in the situation, which really, as I mentioned, turns this into more of a joyride until that tank is out of gas. Yeah, that last stop at that stoplight was interesting because it did seem like the LAPD unit that was right behind him was intent on using a less than lethal, and he may even have fired it. I'm just not sure. Oh, he it did. It seemed like he was. He had some serious intent there. We saw. But we saw that. We saw uh, the wire. He did. The motorcycle then took off too quickly. Uh, we'll look at the video uh, in, a, in a little while. In the meantime, we got a little bit more information about the uh, the first call. It was a man with a gun. It was on the 2300 block of Wyndham Street. And that's when officers arrived uh, to check it out. They saw a man in a residence. Wait, is that and he appeared to be armed. And that's when the man told them to get out. I know they pursued them. I guess Literally. they did back down or back out because it was a little bit later on. Yeah, look at see the, see the guy with the less than lethal. He always steps out and, and mm -hmm. he's, he's taking aim, that's for sure. But I guess officers well, backed off. Or they're doing our parallels or whatever. This person took off from the residence and jumped on his mo motorcycle then the chase was on so initially it was it was a man with a gun call but we don't have a whole lot more information than that which does uh, make Yo. this very dangerous and gives us some understanding and why the LAPD is taking this ABC. very seriously. He may still be armed. Show us said, the road overlay. He may be extremely dangerous. Show us the, show the zoom ins, the replays. Show us the, even meant or the lap. To be Come on, that editor is just or was he intruding or invading? Doing nothing. We don't know. Right, lots of unknowns. And going back to his intentions here, uh, we have now Jeez. done a full loop. So if you remember, just a few moments ago, we were turned off of Shoop onto Oxnard, and he did a big giant loop as we were trying to guess where he might go. Well, he ended up right we have back a live producer Shoop, editor and then that, turned that onto does Oxnard suffer. again. Now he's turned but he's just gonna bad off of Oxnard. That, I guess. But he is really clearly now making this up as he goes along. There is no clear destination in mind. He appears to be somewhat comfortable in the West Ooh. Valley here. Abby's out. But Slammers are out. Uh, just making up these turns as he goes along. He is not aiming for any particular uh, destination, but if he's a hiding spot, not out of the There's question. Christmas snipers for pursuits. To jump, dump the bike and then try and run forward or hide out. But he's got so much pressure on him that the odds are just not in his favor. He's got upwards of half a dozen units. Because we sit every time. Even more. After the has been long, even him, people start coming out of their houses uh, and go on, side, on sidewalk, and, and they either heckle or cheer him uh, on, dude. It is what it is. Of him as well. So you can see them every time he stops at these red lights for whatever reason. You can see them opening their doors 
ready to execute that stop. And then as you mentioned, Colleen, it turns into a game of cat and mouse, which we see so often uh, by motorists, not only in cars, but obviously in this case, a motorcycle as well. Clearly thinking he's got a shot to get away, but I just don't think it's going to work out for him tonight. Certainly, you can see him stopping for another red light at the crosswalk. I there. mean, dude. Crossing the road there, waiting their turn now. He continues. He was, uh, he was later pass. Again on Topanga Canyon Boulevard now. Yeah. Well, you know, it is, again, there is something reassuring, Chris. You know, as we, you know, many of us have children, and it is something reassuring to see a motorcyclist stop as opposed to a big vehicle plowing through these intersections because those motorcyclists they can they obviously see uh they see more oh this they're, lame they're man sensitive to, oh. um, they're also well-being you know they don't want to hit anybody um man, just because it, it this also kind of the seals airways. their fate as well she really do be yeah and, and by and we, by the way he doesn't seem to be on a suicide pact here he's driving Fairly true. Finally, somebody said it. You know, true. More than half the time, despite the fact that he is See? going through some red that, lights when he sees that's what he on the other broadcast. Occasionally, he'll break some of the rules, but he's not driving exceptionally fast at the speeds that that motorcycle is capable of. He's not driving extremely erratic, except to at, again at some time. Uh, at some points trying to navigate and squeeze through some vehicles only with the purpose of getting away from those officers. But once he finds those uh, openings, he just uh, stops for some of these red lights, stops for some of the red lights, stops for pedestrian traffic, and uh, continues this joyride as he makes oh, it Jeff, up. Jeff comes. not appear to be driving oh, they're, they're in, on the in a way that I'd be No, they are, concerned. 100%. Um, they probably use another channel because out. a, a country like this is probably way capable, more comms. But certainly it just takes well, I'm one just wrong move guessing. and a motorcycle can become uh, a deadly weapon or uh, it could become a, a death machine for that motorist. Okay, so I want to give our audience a, a little briefing real quickly on what's happening here. We are ending eyewitness news at 630 to 730, but we're going to stay on top of this pursuit and continue to stream this uh, online. So... Um, we want to thank you for joining us for Eyewitness News at 7 o'clock. This is probably almost down. They're just swapping over. Watch this suspect on his Harley event. They have scheduled broadcast the on the main TV. channel on Thanks the TV. Thanks for us. Now Chris, take over. All right, so, that's why I enjoy this at night, because Chris carries the whole broadcast. HD. We've been watching him. Chris, also something of a factor that would play a part is that you know, sunset is happening right now. And once it does get dark and you see all those, all those, uh, the LAPD, so many LAPD cruisers trying to uh, capture the suspect. What? I wonder, does that change the way that this is handled or does it not? Absolutely. We've got about 20 that minutes. Was a way, that, that was a win. That about 20 minutes and then some remaining daylight after that. So figure about a half hour of daylight before he can more easily blend into the darkness of night and much easier for him to find hiding spots, in which case uh, he could speed off and oh, he's about to get uh, those officers. Or he can, uh, well, in this case, he's still stopping for some of these intersections. And he, as soon as he sees those doors open up, he waits for XQC traffic and continues L. through the red light here. Uh, but they've got about a half hour left before that daylight does indeed become an issue. But the same rules apply uh, to many of the car pursuits that we see in the, in, in the sense that they would much rather bike. They tried this. get onto the Twice. freeway. Now, he was on the 101 for a brief time. He that didn't last long. He got off the freeway. I'm not sure if there was traffic in his way. You understand that this is already pretty much, he's already escalated because this guy waved a gun and it has two guns on him. Another couple miles. Have another opportunity so whatever like no-no is that normally they have, that erodes gas, a little bit based on the surface. was going on. Nonetheless, but for the majority of the time, it's not a taser? What is it, Anna? been on surface streets and in some cases even on very narrow residential streets where you start to get a little bit more nervous especially uh, when there is you know people out and about but right now he appears to have Canoga Avenue uh, wide open for him as he comes up on another red light here at Valerio Street Robolita? through no, the, the guy, he had a wire screen and continuing the pursuit northbound on Canoga Avenue. I would say we should approach the 118 freeway probably in the next couple of minutes if he continues northbound on Canoga. Oh, it's a harpoon. Yeah, and, and again, uh, Chris, you can see that um, 
that he's what also about, using what about those uh, guns indicators as that, well to, that uh, launches a, a um, so again you just said it a moment ago he does like a sucker like he's driving really recklessly like a like um, a sucking cup on the back quickly, but and they they, again, they pull him you can see he stops at the intersection he knows how to use boom, his motorcycle bonk it's hardly and they they, really they fucking they get him right there um but those Harley Davidsons, they're like a so plunger. sturdy um, when to, you know, see these kind of pursuits. You can see a plunger luncher. One of those um, very, very fast motorcycles. Yeah, I mean, it's still capable, capable of, of extreme speed, but it's a very stable motorcycle as far as motorcycles go. And uh, but it's still just one wrong move. And, yeah. and that could change so quickly. Uh, but he does appear to care about his own Belfast. safety is what Any I was Belfast trying to say. Juices? And it, it just Rise. seems like he's attempting to drive what like, a, a you know, like a civilized That's what I said. Uh, he's just refusing to pull over it's and pretended. to do what it takes to not go to jail but again he's on borrowed time and he is well, Chris, aware uh, and willing this guy is going to jail one way or the other the they know his house and shit and he's already done him, which is the assumption that those officers are this is a, we call a victory lap cover a gun at the scene he pointed it at them but it appears that he took it with him and so that is what really changes the calculation. This fool will most likely that not that suspect, run more than half uh, an hour. Be armed and dangerous. Uh, that is a big deciding factor on how to proceed forward here. And as long as that is the case, the three. Uh, that's right. I mean, bull. This is on TV. He's got clout, man. This guy's gonna ball it out. Uh, Look at this guy. Much they can do. He's living they, the like fucking life, bro. Don't have the typical tactics at their disposal. You can't do a pivot. Let play his insta. You can't do a spike no strip. You, you really just have to like try and keep up. The name of the game is keeping up with the motorcycle, trying to maintain a visual, whether it's via the ground units or the air units, and then. <laughs> this brain rot the once, the, uh, once he either gets off the motorcycle or runs out of gas. I mean, those are the really the two uh, the two ways that this is going to end. It's one or the other. Yeah, I don't know if he's on a motorcycle. If this guy wants to escape, would have done it already. He knows are. he can't. Too long to get out of the car I would think that these probably go through gas a little bit more. Um, what about inefficiently you just as you others, but because they you know, know he lives thing, in shit, it's you know, GG like pursuits happening. You can always see the driver. Um, many times they'll get on their phone, or if you just sent it on the highway, you would have been out. You would have been out. You know, all eyes, both hands on the, on the Pepe wheel. Pains. And what I don't know is obviously I know that you know if they if they were um, the, the, the you know motorcycle police officers, they obviously can talk through their helmets. But I don't know if if um, what. These types of vehicles, you know, they can play the radio really loudly because if you drive next to one and they have the radio on, you can really hear it kind of blaring. But I don't know if they can kind of negotiate with um, law enforcement while they're driving a motorcycle. Do you know? My hunch is uh, just looking at that helmet. My hunch is that the answer <laughs> is no. I mean, there are Bluetooth capable helmets. I know that for a fact, but I don't that think that is one of them. It's just just that, that you can just see his ears. Run. I don't know if you can tell. It doesn't look you can like see his ears. Uh, uh, it doesn't look like he's helmet, talking. But he does look a little more agitated yes. now, a little more animated as he jockeys back Nerd. and forth. Um, the you know, trying to maintain control here. Nerd. And it looks like he Stop is now why not a little bit. I just want to so see technical. he's continuing down Sherman Nerd. Way here. Picking Nerd up a bit of speed. In fact, let's throw up our real time okay. speed tracker. Nerd. Doing about 30 Nerd. miles over the speed limit Nails. here on Sherman Way. So, picking Nails. up some speed a little faster than we've seen earlier on in this pursuit. But once again, ready to make another random turn into a residential. Oh, Sherman the Way. I know what this is. Sherman onto Woodlake Avenue. Again, all of this area is uh, pretty residential here. What although, kind of Woodlake happens to have a good four to five lanes to play with here. Uh, looks like He's gesturing uh, towards the right there. Not sure what that's about, but uh, continuing this. Well, he's blinking it. Right back up north, uh, very noticeably towards the area <laughs> where this pursuit began. Yeah, he's obviously so, making uh, some. You just saw him a moment ago. Put both of his hands in the air to kind of signal something. I don't know what, but you know, our producer was talking to us, Michelle, and she said, you know, we're talking about. It's like gang sign. Motorcycles and their gas tanks, but again. 
I don't know how how long these mo uh oh uh oh oh come on now hey Let's yo right back with started, guys. This is right back he's going home why he's going home taking place uh, where that man with the gun call well, they responded the to this area and now he's right back where this all started five. clearly he okay hold up uh, I'm gonna have to fucking show the high screen not only that look at this he's going right through the yellow tape right through the yellow crime scene tape where there is still a full contingent of LAPD officers now a cul-de-sac into a dead end here where he has arrived back home <laughs> where this all started apparently where officers are waiting for him the joyride is over he appears to have had his fun for the evening and is now possibly willing to give up here as he gets oh, oh the come bike. on man fun is over oh hey okay, dude that, this was well, come on what did they expect to do there bro motorcycle and now they are taking him down oh dude that's fucking cooked man a large crime scene where there are dozens of officers he drove right into the bee's nest and uh, under the uh, well, useless injury because it's like arrive, what appears to be uh, the bike's gonna fall on him or a residence that he is familiar with in any event he uh, brought her right back to where it all started where they are now taking him into custody he appears to have given up but uh, not without a wild joyride through the West San Fernando Valley. There's no yeah, fucking I gun. You can see them. They're obviously trying to find his weapon, but it doesn't look like he has a weapon on him. Well, no right shit, now. you and fucking down. moron. I, 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 I can't do it. I can't. They are treating him with, um, I wouldn't say, I guess so, you know, with a, with a less than uh, forceful touch, which is good to see. Um, but... You know, he's obviously not animated now. You know, sometimes we see people really getting animated. And, um, but it doesn't look like he's talking to them. No, he's, he's, uh, he, you know, he's basically... Well, they hurt him bad, up. dude. He's letting them uh, do what they've got to do. They've got to frisk him, make sure he has no threat, no weapons, nothing like that. Uh, he may have to be checked out. He tumbled off of that bike, and it looks like they struggled to get that helmet off. But in any event, you can see the number of officers that remained at this location uh, after this pursuit started, after he literally he got he got through all of these officers to get on that motorcycle and engage in that pursuit only well, to he's end fucking, up right back where it appears he's to have days. Well, I'm not even being trying to be a uh, apologist really but proves that I mean, this was a game for him it was a game he couldn't hold the bike it's too heavy officers going on a wild what else can he do he wasn't reaching or anything yet. uh and now appears to be giving up uh well they were melee range and shit uh, like yeah, bro you're, you're right with he that. can avoid that injury he should i don't know he he sort of definitely uh, controlled the narrative of his pursuit, and he controlled the narrative of him being apprehended, which, you know, at the end of the day, it's good to see it happen like this. Absolutely. Oh, this could have ended up, uh, you know, much worse. Not only was this a danger to a lot of people on the road, but he could have wiped out, and it could have been very, very ugly. You know, I said he could have dumped the bike or run out of gas, but there was oh, always a possibility of him wiping out or <laughs> else and fortunately we did not see that happen there are some something dragging there i'm not sure if they tased him it looks like they may have actually employed a taser colleen because he looks and so lethargic that, while that he's looks walking. like the cables that were dragging there yeah i'm pretty sure they tased him off of that motorcycle oh we'll wait God. for further confirmation uh but it does appear that a taser was employed to get him off of that motorcycle and you don't see any neighbors out well no shit talking to him or you know you, you would think that a neighbor would be out saying it's okay you know you always see your neighbors kind of trying to like but it's yeah he looks just kind of like dazed what the fuck are yeah mess first responders bro right when he was on that motorcycle well she says what she, she says that that's shit i'm sorry agitated now he can barely he's stand i think i think she, i'm not kidding that, i think uh, she's the voice you know, for the dumb because norman's watched the show and then it, it probably, uh, it probably makes him think, oh, I wonder, he just was I wonder the enjoying, dumbest shit of all yeah, time, and she says that, so it kind of appeals to them. As he uh, engaged in that pursuit, what the hell but is uh, this lady it could have ended about very ugly, fortunately, uh, we have a peaceful resolution, all's well that ends well, as they say, but uh, yeah, big commotion for this neighborhood, uh, I would imagine a lot of these neighbors have already been asked to stay inside again. We believe this was uh, some kind of a barricade situation uh, when that man for man with a the gun call the uh, first came. No. Then you chase him. Uh, but as he arrived home, you could see there was a yeah, number uh, right there. officers with tactical gear ready and almost waiting for him as he uh, made his way back into this cul-de-sac. 
Well, and that, that's what you, what leads us to believe that he, he definitely controlled the narrative. Maybe his, uh, the, the person he's accused of having an altercation with uh, even told that to the authorities. Man, it's a nice There's fucking no house, way. though, man. Crash his bike. That what a fucking chill crib. They it's just, it is amazing to see that he, he did. It's a nice little cool sack, little, little fence, and little, little plants and shit like that, a little vegetation. Right back home and, um, I ain't buying that again, piece of shit. I didn't see them find a weapon, but of course they'll, they will certainly have this a This is probably like someone get this get lady some 1.2 mil. She was home alone um, was tonight, and then was um, called um, into work. All right. News right. at 11 o'clock, but again, um. Cops to crim ratio looks like GTA RP. I mean, he looks old. He probably bought it for like fucking like 350k way Make back when. Long on God. Your cribs wax should buy GQ or XQC the juicy.